Hi dear learners, how are you? I hope you are really well and you feel so much better today. Today I have come here once again to take another important class on the topic of Girand. Dear learners, do you know Girand is an important topic but in this topic about this Girand, many students are really sad and really tensed, I mean anxious about this gerund because they don't identify what is the gerund and what is the verb. So I will discuss today about the gerund and how can gerund acts in the sentence and what is the difference between verb and gerund. Okay. I hope by the end of the lesson you will have a clear idea and a clear method about the gerund and its uses and it will be clear to you but attentiveness is a must i need your attentiveness and you must be attentive with my lecture what i can do so no talk more let's start now thank you gerund our topic today is gerund dear learners what is gerund or what do you mean by gerund okay gerund is the form of verb which ends in ing again i repeat gerund is the form of the verb which ends in ing that is to say gerund means the base form of verb plus ing that means the base form of verb plus ing verbs base form and ing when a verb is used in the sentence as a noun then it will be called gerund when a verb in the sentence use is used as a noun then it will be called gerund so i think you really have understood or the definition of gerund. Now, I will discuss about the usage of gerund. Okay? Gerundial uses the usage of gerund. The usage of gerund. That means how, how the gerund can act in the sentence. I will show you today, inshallah. Okay. Rule 1. Look at the board. I have written rule 1. Rule 1. Subject of a verb. Subject of a subject of a verb. Rule 1. Subject of a verb. That is to say, how the gerund acts as a subject of a verb. How the gerund acts as a subject of a verb. Example number one Smoking is Smoking is injurious to health. Smoking is injurious to health okay dear learners you have to bear in mind that gerund and verb are not the same okay gerund is not verb gerund is not the verb rather verb a verb x as a gerund okay verb is used in the sentence as a noun then it will be called gerund okay this is gerund and is his verb i mean auxiliary verb okay smoking is injurious to health here smoke smoking is gerund i mean noun that means gerund and is verb i mean auxiliary verb and smoking is injurious injurious to health okay this is verb and this is gerund number two Learning English is not difficult. Here, learning is noun, 
I mean, that means subject that means gerund and is verb look at the board i have selected verb and gerund so that you make you so that it will be clear to you what is how what is, what is verb and what is gerund verb is gerund is not the verb rather it is noun that means gerund okay number 3 gardening is my hobby this is gerund i mean subject this is verb gardening is my hobby this is subject and verb subject of a verb i have written in the on the board subject of a verb that means how the gerund acts as a subject of a verb okay smoking injures to health smoking subject that means gerund is auxiliary verb learning english is not difficult learning that means subject and this is verb auxiliary verb gardening subject that means gerund and is verb i mean auxiliary verb okay so smoking i have written three examples on the board how the gerund acts as a subject of a verb now rule number 2 object of a verb object of a verb that is how the gerund acts in the sentence as a object of a verb okay how the gerund acts in the sentence as a object of a verb okay let's see number 1 i like riding bicycle i like riding bicycle here this is verb this is object that means gerund i like riding bicycle i ride riding bicycle this is verb i like verb and this is verb's object okay what is object object is the object is an object is a word which is affected by verb okay actually object always is affected by verb okay so i like i like riding bicycle number 2 stop running in the sun this is verb this is object i mean gerund okay stop running in the sun stop running in the sun object of a verb i am writing and discussing about how can gerund act as a object of a verb okay stop running in the sun number 3 children like eating bananas Ch children like eating bananas okay children this is verb and this is object that means gerund children like eating bananas like here is verb eating it's verb's object that means gerund okay so i like riding bicycle this is verb and it's object that means gerund i ride by I, i i like riding bicycle stop running in the sun stop is verb here and here is object of verb that means gerund and children like eating bananas children like eating bananas like his hair verb and it is object of a verb that means gerund bananas okay gerund means verb based from a verb plus ing is called gerund okay Thank you. Now, rule number three. Rule number th in rule number three, I will discuss about complement. Complement of a verb. Complement. 
complement of a verb. Dear learners, I hope, I think a question is arose in your mind that what is complement? What is complement? Here, take, your, take my answer. Compliment, compliments are those words which add extra details in the sentence. What is compliment? Compliment are those words which add extra details in the sentence. Okay? Example. It is a good saying. It is a good saying. It's a it is a good saying. It is this is verb and good saying. This is a compliment that means gerund. Okay? Is here is in here verb and saying is compliment in, in this sentence that means gerund. Okay? What he likes what he likes best is swimming what he, what he likes best is swimming likes is verb i mean main verb and this is also verb i mean auxiliary verb and this is complement i mean i mean gerund okay what he likes best what he likes best okay that means a man may like many things but what he likes best is swimming what he likes best is swimming likes is verb and is is also verb i mean auxiliary verb and swimming is here compliment 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 that means gerund okay dear learners I am repeating this word again, once for again. I, ha I uh, uh, all the time, I am selecting verb and gerund. That means, so that you, uh, it, it will be clear to you that how the, how the verb act and how the verb, how the gerund act, okay? What is the difference between verb and gerund? Verb is used in the sentence to express the main meaning and gerund is you gerund verb and gerund is used as a noun that gerund is used as a noun in the sentence okay gerund is verb plus ing okay number 3 complements last example gardening here is verb and this is gerund i mean complement this that means gerund okay Compliment. Compliment are those words which add extra details in the sentence. Okay? That means compliment express the extra meaning. Okay? Compliment can express the full meaning when the compliment is used in the sentence. Okay? I hope you have really understood, inshallah. Okay? It is a good saying. Here verb and this is compliment, I mean gerund, and what he likes what he likes best is swimming. Okay? That means a man may like many things, but what he likes best, topmost, best is swimming. Verb and auxiliary verb, and this is compliment, I mean gerund. And my hobby is gardening. The uh, main verb, uh, sorry, V verb, auxiliary verb, but X is a main verb here. Okay. My hobby is gardening. Uh, here, gardening is compliment. I mean, gerund. Dear learners, this is uh, is in here auxiliary verb, but in this sentence it is used as a main verb. I mean, he is in this sentence act as a main verb. Okay, dear learners. Now, rule number four: object of a preposition. object of a preposition object of a preposition that means how the how the gerund acts 
as, as how, how the gerund acts in the sentence as an object of a preposition okay we are discussing about uh, the usage of gerund okay how the gerund is used in the sentence okay dear learners you have to know first of all in here in this sentence here uh, what whose uh, what kind of words are called preposition what okay preposition of for by in at on and many things of of for by in with at on and etc etc okay these are preposition okay Zeron will act as object of a preposition in the sentence so let's see examples preposition okay Zeron will act as object in the sentence as a object of a preposition I am fond of reading I am fond of reading I am fond of reading M is verb auxiliary verb but he, in this sentence M is used as a main verb and of this preposition and this is object I mean gerund verb of is here of his preposition preposition and reading object that means gerund okay in going there she is interested she is interested interested in going there this is verb this is preposition and this is object that means gerund okay she is interested is here is verb in in this sentence preposition and going in this sentence is object that means gerund okay i am interested in going there okay and the last example hunting he went on hunting went is verb one is here is preposition and this is object that means gerund okay he went on hunting he went on hunting that means he went on hunting uh, went is his verb and one is preposition and hunting is object that means gerund okay now i will discuss rule, rule rule five i mean final rule for today in the rule five we will discount as a compound noun okay as a compound noun as a compound noun how the gerund is used in the sentence as a compound noun okay i will discuss now compound noun compound noun is the that noun which adds with the joining word with the joining word okay compound means joining word it will express as a noun okay let's write example i have lost my walking stick i have lost i have lost my walking stick have is auxiliary verb as uh, we be verb lost main verb and compound noun walking stick this is this is compound noun gerund and compound noun this is compound noun i mean gerund compound noun joining word compound noun may compound noun is acts as a joining word now gerund plus with an another word okay it will act as a compound noun i have lost my walking stick i have lost my walking stick here lost is verb and walking stick is compound noun that means gerund okay did you buy did you buy a frying pan did you buy a frying pan 
Did you buy? Did you buy a frying pan? Okay, this is verb and this is compound noun. That means gerund. Okay? Did you buy a frying pan? Here, buy is verb, I mean main verb, and frying pan is compound noun. That means gerund. Okay? Number three. This is my sleeping room. This is my and the last example today. This is my this is my sleeping room. Okay. This is verb and this is compound noun. I mean gerund. Okay. Dear learners, I have discussed in the five rules: one rule, one rule, two rule, three rule, four, and last and final rule is rule rule number five. Okay. So I, I hope you have really understood today's lecture. Okay, Girant. Today's I have discussed already already in front of you once again the use, usage of Girant. I, I hope you have written with my lecture from the board, and it will be it will be very clear to you if you have pract if you practice more and more. Okay, because practice is a must to know learn to know and learn English. Okay. So not, uh, today I am going to finish my lecture and class in here. Let's uh, see you next inshallah and the next class I will discuss infinitive. So you should attentive to the class. Okay. So no more today. I have go I am going to finish my class here. Thank you so much. May Allah bless you and pray for me. Thanks a lot.